All right, in today's episode of questions we didn't know we needed the answer to until we started, uh, high flow pet G. I've been messing around with it a lot. Uh, I like it, and I think it prints great, has good properties, etc., etc. So, um, Bamboo kind of set the stage with their high flow pet G, but then it was unavailable for forever, and so I went looking for different pet Gs. That's when I found the Elegoo. That's what this is. So these three are printed all with the same slicer settings, which is the stock bamboo high flow settings. Yeah, and then uh, my friends at Ziltec sent me some of their new high speed pet G to play with, and it's looking pretty good. So to jump into the order, bamboo is still the best. Close second is Ziltec, and then the Elegoo is pretty pretty good too, but still in third. We can see it just it doesn't do overhangs as well, and yeah. Anyway. Now that we had that printed and out of the way, <laughs> of course, how does it print at normal speed? So we, we ran that. And it prints fine. It's a little darker. I don't know if it pops up, but it was stringy too, which was kind of weird. But there's no reason to print it at normal speed when we've got high speeds available. I didn't notice any like better retention, anything else. It just printed slower. But now, of course, since we have uh, ludicrous mode, what happens if we print high speed on ludicrous? This is kind of what I expect would happen if you printed normal PETG at high speed PETG speeds. You can see the, the little the thin features got overheated. There's some ringing and some other stuff just kind of didn't go. But in reality, this turned out better than it has any business doing printed at ludicrous speed. So not a total fail. But that also brought up the question, naturally, what happens if you print normal PETG at high speed PETG settings? So this is standard Xyltec red, Ziltec, Xyltec. I can never get that right at high speed settings, and it turned out okay. Um, definitely, you can see where it's uh, the heating change and the color, and it doesn't snap on quite as nice. It's a little bit looser. <clears throat> anyway, and then, you know, for funsies, I had, I don't know where it came from, probably Alibaba Pet G that I don't, <laughs> I don't even know how long it had been there. And so we ran that at high speed settings, and uh, this is this is pretty pretty garbage. It did not turn out great. It, it's, it wants to fall off. But yeah, <laughs> now we know something at least. And um, anyway, I'm definitely getting more of this. And I'm probably getting more of this too because I like the convenience. But I should really get back to finishing designing what I'm going to do for the EcoFlow competition instead of checking out all of the questions and rabbit holes we didn't know we needed to know about High Speed Pet G. But yeah, there you go. Check it out. Definitely buy some Ziltec. And see what you think. Let me know.